you know, the only way to really change things is to, ha unfortunately, have to use them, lawyers, you know. I, I think it's sad, but I drove all the way from Kansas. I'll tell you right now, my butt hurts, okay? I got kids at home I'd rather be with, but I want you to tell your representative this, okay? Get the country thinking right. Get this government thinking right. If we increase the National Institute of Health, if we bring stem cells and gene therapies from 14 years to 5 years, every, each year we will have a $900 billion tax revenue bonus to the federal government. Four and a half million people in America, $80,000 of treatment, do the math. This is not Republican, this is not Democrat, this is just darn right good business. It doesn't matter what party you're in, this is just good business. We need to not only increase the budget more, but we need to move more of that money into that type of research. Why? Because the six degrees of separation to these horrible diseases is regeneration technology. I was a representative for a biotech firm for 15 years. I know the ins and outs, I've been in the front lines, and I know what goes on in the labs, and I know what goes behind closed doors. It is ridiculous that we are not punching another hole in our belt and investing in the National Institute of Health because every one of these diseases, ALS, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, most of the neurological diseases, the six degrees of separation of curing them, stem cell gene therapy. We, we fight wars the best, we make movies the best, and we make drugs the best. Why give up on our drug industry? Why give up on what we do best, our science? The democracy that gives up on funding on their science it is the beginning of the end for that democracy. America is the greatest military in the world. America makes the greatest movies in the world. I can't wait to see Star Trek. <laughs> and we make the best drugs. Do we want to lose that? Do we want to be considered a fat nation of, of, of wimpy people? Or do we want to put another hole in our belt and say, you know what, it's about time we push this science over the top because it's good business. We have a strong military, we make good movies, and we are the pharmacy of the world. But we've lost that. The last 10 years, the NIH budget has flatlined. Our drug industry is now caught up in what's called Me Too technology. And we're going to be in a competitive world environment. We need to invest in this stuff now and get this stuff on board and once again become the pharmacy of the world. Because I don't care how rich the Saudi Arab is with all the oil in the world, he's still going to have to come to us to get his treatment. And that's powerful. Thank you for listening uh, to us. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. No problem. Anytime you need somebody or a face, call me up. 14 years. Thank you, sir. 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 Very nice to meet you. Thank you, sir. We were just saying 60% higher rate of ALS in military folks than uh, regular, so we were pushing for you guys too. So. All right, thanks. Yeah. Hey, Is the building on fire? Finally met a politician. Amen. Oh, well, good. That was good. I, it seems like he. Uh, like the issues that I, uh, will, was it worth, worth that visit? I don't know. I think so, you know. At least he has myself and Melissa in his, in his mind. And, uh, you know, in our country, you know, that's what I was talking about. You can visit with somebody. We'll see. We'll see. If not, I'll be back. At least we have the ability to, to, you know, stand up and say, hey, you know, I think, Without that, there would be a revolution. Because that's what we all fight for, right? We want to make sure our government does what we want. But when they don't, you know, if they don't listen, then we get angry. Good. Yep. It's in the Constitution. Oh, they're filling with us. Come here, give me a hug. <laughs> We're making friends in D.C., baby. Yeah. In DC. Bob Anthony, <laughs> Take care. You too. Don't work. Don't work too hard, please. Oh, I won't. Look at that. We're right here. Uh, this is us. Outstanding. Well, that's how we're going to the bar tonight. We ain't taking no car, but we do need some more uh, stuff out of the car. Bye.
Well, we enjoyed ourselves. We hopefully planted a couple of seeds that could grow into new policy. We visited our nation's capital, and it's a very friendly city. I encourage everybody who watches this to come on out and make a visit and see your representative. And if you got something you want to fight for, do it. So I, I, I think it's it's displayed its best cards today. I, I'm a little disappointed more senators were not available, but they're working. And uh, there's also better ways to visit them, but I, I enjoyed it. And I think uh, everything worked out well. I mean, I think we planted some seeds and ruffled some feathers, and uh, it should be interesting to see where this goes from here. But, uh, you know, I liked it. I liked it. Thank you, friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My disease really, the last couple month and a half, has just just been a freight train downhill. So, and I got here, and I got did what I wanted to do, and I couldn't get on this drug. And I guarantee you, young lady, that I will be walking here next year. That'll be great. I guarantee it. You count. I'll be here next year as well. Foot massage. Oh, okay. oh God! Don't hurt! Don't hurt! I'm just getting out of the way. So tell them to say. Sweet feet is coming. Just say sweet, sweet feet is coming. I'm not going to get myself in trouble. With no, you. no, the, the boys will love it. Sweet feet is coming. Just give them a ring because they are a great bunch of guys. Yeah. yeah. So I'm glad good. we were able we're to track it down. Yeah.